There's a very public side for the Monday night football game, Giants-Steelers, this Monday night on ESPN. I'm going to let you know if we should play it or fade it. That free play for Monday night football coming up in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your primetime Monday night football matchup, 815 Eastern on ESPN and ABC. Giants at Steelers, and look, on the surface, understand why the Steelers are a six-point favorite. The line looks cheap. The public is all over them. Yes, Pittsburgh is one of the most public sides in week eight NFL. And we don't just blindly fade the public. We always look for reasons. And statistically, it's hard to make a case for the Giants. They're a battered offense right now. They really looked bad last week, uh, despite being a public, an anti-public play. They came up flat against the Eagles. But one of the reasons fading the public works long-term is because of line value and adjusted line value. And that's definitely the case with this game on Monday night. In fact, the bettable look-ahead line a week ago was Pittsburgh at around the three-and-a-half point range. Now it's six. Total's also been bet down quite a bit as well. Look ahead line last week on this one was as high as uh, 38 or so. Even saw some books open around the 38 range after the games on Sunday. Now it's 36, 36 and a half below that very key number of 37. So if it is a low scoring game, which it appears it should be, that does favor the dog. And although I can't make a case on paper for the Giants, I do think fading the public here makes some sense for a few reasons. First of all, it's a difficult spot for Pittsburgh. I know it's a primetime home Monday night game. Normally, that'd be a focused spot, but it's a non-conference, weak non-conference opponent. They have their bye coming up on deck. They just came off a huge high-profile Sunday night game against the Jets last week. That was a much bigger game for them, especially against Aaron Rodgers. Russell Wilson making his home first start, his home debut last week as well. This has letdown written all over it, and situational handicapping is a large part of professional sports. You know, I've dominated the NBA. As you know, the NBA started this week. We got off to a perfect 2-0 start right away out of the gate. And situational handicapping is what I use in the NBA. I use it a lot in the NFL as well. And while I don't like to play bad teams as best bets for clients, I would still lean towards the Giants in this game plus the six. Um, also, the uh, Steelers, you know, keep in mind, had that Sunday night game against the Cowboys just a few weeks ago. So they had a Sunday nighter against the Cowboys, had to travel out to Las Vegas, which is always a distracted road game, come back, play a Sunday night game against Aaron Rodgers, the Jets, with Russell Wilson debuting. Now they have a Monday night home game with a bye on deck. You know they're looking towards that bye. And while they are the better team on paper, I think this is a dangerous spot for Pittsburgh. I would fade the public in this. If you're going to play it, I would lean towards the New York Giants plus the six as we're getting almost a field goal higher in line value based on just last week's results. How are you attacking this game? Once again, I know it's an ugly dog. Got to hold your nose and maybe pull the trigger sometimes with ugly dogs. And fading the public does work long term, although the public was red hot first couple weeks of October. Came back down to earth, by the way, this past Thursday night. The Vikings, only about a three-point road favorite at the Rams. Vikings were also one of the most public plays in Week 8, and they lost outright. Could this be a repeat the other end of the spectrum on the Monday night game? We'll find out 8.15 Eastern on Monday evening. Hey, comment below. What are your thoughts on this game? I do think this is one of those spots fading the public makes sense. And I know it's hard to justify the Giants on paper, but once again, scheduling situation looks really tough for Pittsburgh. So I would lean towards New York plus the six in this game. Are you playing the side, the total player props? Let me know if you like any player props here for Monday Night Football as I do read all the comments and I reply back. By the way, if you like this public consensus data, be sure to check out my NFL Fade the Public video every week. And we get that up on Saturday afternoons every week. And when you subscribe for free, click subscribe. Make sure you click the bell as well for an instant alert when my Fade the Public video goes up. And also all these primetime TV videos. You know, I've been trying to do all the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday college football games. I've been doing all the NFL Thursday night games. We had the over in that uh, Vikings-Rams game that I just referenced to go to now 5-1 and one since I started doing the Thursday night games for free for you every week. Those videos have gone 5-1 and one so far the last six weeks. We're doing the Sunday night video. We're doing the Monday night video here. You know, a lot of these games don't make my client best bets. I'm very selective. I have maybe one to two plays per day on average. Um, but I want to give you additional TV leans, information on these high-profile games because I know many of you are doing your own handicapping. So if you're finding it useful, comment below because I read the comments. If you're liking the videos, I will keep them coming. And be sure to hit the thumbs up like button as well, as that is greatly appreciated. Hey, speaking of best bets, if you're serious about winning, you don't want to just be playing these TV games. You've got to be playing the client best bets. If I have a play, they go out to my personal clients at wagertalk.com. And they're emailed directly to everybody the minute I release them. And you get the exact same games I've won consistently with for the last 30, uh, 29, 39, 29 years. It's still more than half my life. The last 29 years as a full-time professional handicapper. If I have a play, you get it as well. And selectivity pays off. Entering this past weekend, up 170 units already in 2024 for all sports. 
number one ranked in baseball profit, number one this year in football, college, and pro profit combined, and I'm number one in the NBA the last three years, up 200 units, and number one all time in the history of wager talk in NBA profit. And oh yeah, college hoops starts in a few weeks. I was number one in that a couple years ago as well. In fact, this is the only time of year right now that we get the World Series still going, right? So we get baseball, basketball, and football all at once. It's the only month of the year in which that happens. So it is a great time to be an all-sports subscriber. If you've been sitting on the sidelines and watching winter after winter pass you by and you're building your bankroll up and you want to get on board, I do have a 30-day special for you with an instant $50 discount this weekend. No promo code needed. It's on my page right now. 30-day all-access, all-sports with an instant $50 discount. That gets it down to about $8 a day. Now, if you want to take a serious long-term investment approach, you know the one-year package is the best offer. And with promo code SM365, you get an instant $811 discount at checkout. That gets it down to exactly $99 a month, just over $3 a day, just over a dollar a play for every football, basketball, baseball, college and pro best bet for the next 365 days and nights. But you got to have a promo code for that one. SM365 gets you the instant $811 discount. Did that special discount because I wanted to get it down to exactly $99 a month for you. It's a fantastic offer. So once again, if you've watched winter after winter pass you by and you want to try out a smaller package, get the 30-day, get an instant $50 discount. Or if you're ready to take that serious, consistent, long-term investment approach, use promo code SM365 for the one-year all-access. Don't have to memorize these promos or special offers. I put them on my page every day, along with the daily free plays. I do have free plays throughout the week for multiple sports. Check out the bonus free plays on my page. You can also see all the best bets recapped, rolling last 20 every day. Click on any of them to read the analysis after the game start to see how I do things. And once again, we are just smoking them up. Over 170 units already this year in all sports. And hey, there's still two months to go in 2024 and a huge 2025 around the corner. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on social media as well on X and Instagram at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free sports betting content coming up next.